Somebody might have an angle of there is no border violence. Some may say it's here. Some may say it's been here forever. Uh, some may say that it's barely starting. Whichever stance it is, the one thing that is clear is that there is no consensus amongst Cameron County leaders on whether there is spillover border violence throughout the community. Uh, we've seen an escalation of border violence over the last 10 years. Cameron County Emergency Manager Humberto Barrera says having differing perspectives is not necessarily a bad thing because it still keeps the issue on the radar. Well, everybody has a different opinion as what spillover is. And hopefully, Barrera adds, puts Washington officials on notice. There's absolutely a lot more border protection in Arizona and in California than we do here. You know, there's 14 border patrol agents per square mile in, in Arizona. And here we have, you know, roughly about six. I think the federal government needs to step up and, you know, help us secure our border a little bit better. The video includes deadly attacks that have happened in neighboring Mexican cities like Matamoros and the Mexican government's approach to the problem. Barrera says those types of attacks may not be occurring on the U.S. side of the border, but it doesn't mean there is no spillover linked to it. We have cartel members that live in our communities. We have Zeta members that live in our communities. Uh, that is real. You know, that is here. That is not something that's going to go away anytime soon. There could be cartel members here that aren't causing any kind of trouble, uh, but they're here. Some may consider the drugs and weapons constantly making it past the border a direct aspect of border violence. The sheriff's office has confiscated thousands and thousands of pounds of narcotics. You know, it ain't coming from, it ain't coming from a good cause. You know, that, that's all driven by the cartels.